Hello friends, welcome. Thank you for being here with me. I am Sarah Jane Gage and I am CEO of Engage Fitness. I am a Kripalu yoga instructor and functional fitness trainer. And this class is a quick 15 minute glute gains workout. Thanks for being here. So my hope is because we are just together 15 short minutes that you have already warmed up and then on the flip side of this workout that you'll take some time to cool down and stretch. So if you haven't warmed up yet, put me on pause for just a moment. Go take about five or 10 minutes to get the blood pumping and things moving and then come on back and join me when you're ready. We're gonna start with some in and out squats this workout. And so I'll show you high impact to start, but then hang with me for a low impact alternative. You wanna find your narrow squat, feet about in line with shoulders, squat it down nice and low, hop it out wider, and then back in. We're in and out, squatting down nice and low with a little hop to help that happen. If the hop doesn't work for you for any reason, Take that hop out of it, and instead step it in, step it out. The only difference is if you continue as you keep going, if you choose to step it in and out, take it left to right. So left steps out first, right steps out first, and then keep it going. We got 20 seconds more here. Let's do it. Here we go, six, five, four, three, two, one, nice work. Shake out those legs, find your way to the top of your space, Whew. and it doesn't matter which side you start with, but step on back to your lunge. Landing high on the toes, get down in that lunge, and begin to pulse. We're gonna pulse for one, two, three, Four, on that fifth pulse, bring the knee up, get a squeeze in the abdominals, step back. Take it for one, two, three, four, rise, step back. Two, three, four, rise, step back. Two, three, four, keep it going. Three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. Last time on this side, two, Three, four, nice work. Switch it over to the other side. Woo! Are those glutes woken up yet? <laughs> Find that lunge on the other side, toes up high. Get your good form. Find that gentle pulse. And here we go. One, two, three, four. Rise the knees, squeeze. Step back. Two, three, four. Rise. Two, three, four. Rise. Two, three, four. Four. Let's go. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Last time. Two, three, four. Nice work. Whew. Shake those legs out. And then find your way down to a declined tabletop. So your declined tabletop, forearms are on the mat, elbows under shoulders. Let the head and neck be relaxed. Keep that core engaged here. So Navel the spine to avoid dumping into the low back. If the low back gets uncomfortable, that's the first place I want you to check in is if your core is activated. From here, kick back the leg, get an extension, bring it back in, rise it up to a hydrant, drop it back down. So it's extend and rise. Extend and rise to the hydrant. Extend, kick back. Rise to hydrant. Extend, kick back, rise to hydrant. You keep going, I'm gonna show you a different angle of that. Kicking back and rising, taking it right over to the other side. Keep it going. It's not necessarily about speed at this moment. What you're looking for is that squeeze of the glute, squeeze of the hamstring as you kick back, and then squeeze of the outer glute and the hip on that fire hydrant. 
for another 20 seconds here, friend. So much fun. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and flip it on over. Find your bridge pose shape. And then rise the hips up nice and high. As you do, the hips rise because you're squeezing the glutes, you're squeezing the buttocks to press them up high. But the abdominals are also squeezing in nice and tight. So it's a contrasting press and squeeze and squeezing, holding you stable and strong here. Keep on holding and find your breath. Let the breath flow in and out as you hold. Checking in that those hips are still nice and high. We're gonna get started with some pulses here, my friend. So as you exhale, drop those hips down, let them tap for just a second, rise them right back up. Drop and tap, rise it up. It's an explosive rise to the top. So as you lower, it's slow and controlled. Feel that little tap of the buttocks, touch down on the mat, and then rise those hips up really quick, right back up, squeeze it. Squeeze it up high. Let's go for another 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Maybe pull those knees into the chest. Get a little counter stretch for a second. And then when you're ready, come on and join me on your feet for a narrow squat to curtsy lunge. I'll show you what that looks like. We're gonna take it left to right so that we can play with balance a little bit. So you wanna find, make sure I have room. <laughs> find your narrow squat, so feet about in line with shoulders. And then as you rise up, step that foot behind you. Again, doesn't matter which one you start with. Step it directly back, find your curtsy lunge. Your curtsy lunge happens by you dropping straight down. So oftentimes you see people come really forward, really back. What you're looking for, straight down, step it together, squat, straight back, and down, squat. Go ahead and get started as you feel ready. Maybe using a support nearby, if it's available, to help you with that balance. You wanna make sure you're pressing evenly Ooh, they're all points of the feet as you drop down. So make sure you're not rocking to the toes in that squat or all the way just to the heels. We're here for another 15 seconds. Four, three, one, nice work. Find that Superman pose on your belly. Get long from fingers to toes. Gazing down at the mat, keep your spine long as you inhale, rise up and squeeze. Hold, bring your mental connection to the glutes, keep them up high. Bring the forearms down under your face. You can keep the upper body risen up if you'd like a bit more. Or you can drop the forehead down to your mat. Hang out right here. Holding from this shape, point the toes and start to extend them out and in. Out and in. You decide what the upper body is doing. It's about the glutes. It's about those outer thighs. Woo! The hips. Let's go. Do what you can. Fifteen seconds here, friends. Come on.
five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Find your way to tabletop. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Find that tailbone to neutral. Keep it there the whole time. Core engaged to help that happen. If you start to dump and the butt comes up high, you're going to feel it in your low back. So again, connect with that core before extending right leg long. Flex your foot as you do. Get really active through the foot. Mental muscle connection to the base of that butt cheek, the bottom of your glute. Let that place do the work to create a big, beautiful rainbow shape. You can stay up high in your tabletop here, or you might prefer to drop it down to your forearms and take it in a decline table instead. Again, caring for the low back by keeping the core strong and the glute and leg active and engaged. Just 10 seconds more on this side. Three, two, and one. Take it over to the other side. Extend that left leg long, flex foot. Mental muscle connection to the base of the butt cheek the top of the hamstring, let that place do the work. Creating that big, beautiful rainbow shape with a tight core, flowing breath to support the workout. more on this side. Let's go. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Flip it on over into your glute bridge one more time. Rise those hips up high as you land. And hold at the top. Let's see. Get those hips up nice and high. Keeping them high the whole time. That's going to be the tricky part here, friends. Lift that right leg, point the toes, and then extend the leg out before dropping it back down. Extend left leg, toes, point. Extend it out. Drop it down. Hips stay high. Don't let them get lazy. Woo. As you take one foot off and work into that hip and that glute a bit more. Just 20 seconds more here. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, drop those hips down. Last time, just like before, explosive glute presses. They tap and then launch back up towards the scalp. Make it explosive, the hips rise, the glutes squeeze, the core is tight the whole time. You might even blow out the breath as you land at that peak bridge pose. Fifteen seconds, friends. Come on, you got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Pull those knees into the chest. Give them a big squeeze. Let the breath slow down. The heart rate slows down and take about five to 10 minutes for a cool down. You wanna let the heart rate come back down. You want to stretch a little bit and you want to hydrate with plenty of water so that your muscles have an opportunity to recover as best they can. If you'd like a little bit more, Come on back at 11 o'clock. I'll be live on the YMCA site.
to start 11 to 11.45 for body weight hit. So hit is a 60-60 format, 60 seconds of high intensity, 60 seconds of low, and we'll incorporate a lot of the glute stuff that we did today because who doesn't like more glute work, right? <laughs> Till next time, friends. Please be safe, be kind, continue choosing to be well, wherever you go from here, have a great day. Thanks for hanging out.